them are the comedian. And Reggae star Raskimono has been at the forefront of the Calvary working to keep the music genre alive and in mainstream music in Nigeria. Me and the veteran, they are the comedian. Anytime we run, the people run to follow why. Reggae, which elsewhere in the music industry is in the 80s and 90s, with the likes of Majek Fashek, Sweat, Raskimono and others at the helm, experienced a decline with the rise of pop and then hip-hop music. No money, in our pocket, no bed, till we ate. However, Raskimono is not given up as he believes young musicians can be wooed into creating quality conscious music again. To achieve this, he has joined a team working to bring reggae back to mainstream. Well, uh, that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing now. Because most of them, they're in them yard. Um, you know, some of them use computer and play tune and smoke weed and dance in other yard and think, say, hey, I'm going to play good music. No, come out and come and showcase yourself. You, when you say you're yard, you think you're the best. You're afraid of competition. No, come out and see what's going on in the town. Like I and I, as an old man in business, I still go out and see what goes on. When I hear some rappers do something, something I go there and see. When I hear some hip hop do something, something I go there and see. When I Fuji, every kind of music, I go there and see. So do you then? Should come out and be part of this. So from there, they will know that we're still existing. Reggae has always been about conscious music, but offshoots of the music genre, dancehall, raga, and others cannot be said to carry the same level. Raskimono is not pleased with the rise of materialism in music. Most of the youth still, who even playing dancehall today, which come out of reggae, are afraid to do the truth. They say that all what they want is pure money and they don't have conscience of, you know, to speak the truth. They just want mundane material quickly, you know. And because if you play reggae music, trust me, it don't really make much money, but you, 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 you leave a footprint. And what we're doing today is leaving a footprint legacy. Where we're gone tomorrow, who will remember us. You know, that's exactly what we're doing. But you don't care about that. They just want quick money. And if you do reggae, you must do the truth and right. You must speak the truth at all times, no profanity. You know, but you them deal today a pure profanity and slackness you must deal with. So and I and I, for us to stay here, we deal with the truth and we don't we don't give a damn who gets shot, who gets shot, gets shot. But we have to deal with the truth. Widely accepted songs can be regarded as a yardstick to measure the cultural values of the people. It is a reflection of the society, and this reggae legend is concerned that the Nigerian music industry is being affected negatively. Well, I think it has affected our youth 80% uh, negatively. 80% negative. They say that everything comes from capitalist country, like America. Yeah, America control the world and everything comes from America is pure slackness and profanity most of the time. And our youths, the youths generally all over the world, easy to copy pure negativity. So anything what they see on TV is what they think is happening in the world. Now, when you're in America, as an African, when you're in America, all you see in American TV stations is hunger, starvation, famine, and negativity about Africa. So it puts fear in our youths, them, not to come to Africa. Our kids, they are afraid to come to Africa. And where you now, they in Africa, Africa, what the TV, Western World show us is girls, them slim, who work in Hollywood. They never show up. But when you reach America, you find out that. All of them are fat and juicy. And them are big and heavy, not even fat and juicy. Because in Nigeria, Africa, we have fat and juicy girls, lovely. We love fat and juicy girls. But in America, a lot of them are big and heavy. But them, the world, the Western world never show all them big and heavy. They show all the slimmer ones who's going for competition in Hollywood. So our youth thinks that that's how Americans are, but, which is not true. So. All the negative things they show to the world, and I use them see it, and they think, man, I must be in America until you go there. And we say, who no go, no no. Until you go there, you will see and know. The Dem Persecute Kruna is from a generation of musicians to whom good music had to be live. 
Raskimono feels the advent of technology and computer-generated beats has encouraged artists to be lazy. However, it is up to both generations of music makers to synergize and ensure Nigerian music remains great, enjoyable and long-lasting.